Make sure you go check out Aircool. My buddy Pete over there has got some amazing products. Really cool company. And Pete is an awesome guy. Go check him out. He's sponsoring this series. Appreciate it, Pete. All right, we got that brace out of there on the driver's side. We'll leave the one on the passenger side for now. All right, so we got the new replacement panel here from Wolfsburg West, and it looks like a really nice piece. And I got both sides. I got the driver's side and the passenger side. Basically, this is gonna go in here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from here, from here, and a couple different places up to the top, because we're gonna use this whole thing. We're gonna measure on the new piece from here to here, from here to here, and it looks like it's the same height all the way around to this point. It only starts to change as it slopes down here. We're gonna kind of slowly cut away at the old one and try to work this one in there so we can mark that slope. It's gonna be a little tricky. Never done it before. Let's see what happens. We're right around seven and a quarter. There it is. She's rusty. That's most of it. 
We got a little bit more to take out. We got to take out this part here. But, uh, yeah. We're going to go up. I actually put the tape a little bit lower than the actual line or where I think the line's supposed to be. Hopefully we're close. <laughs> but I cut a little underneath it, so we'll probably have to cut a quarter inch or so off of this. But this piece here still needs to come out. It is uh, spot welded up in here. You can see the little spot welds right there. And it goes up here. And they've got it seam sealed right there. You can see the seam seal here. Let's see if we can get this cleaned up a little bit and test fit it. We might have to cut some of this out of here. I mean, that's... That's gonna get replaced. We're gonna replace this wheel well probably up to the same point. Let's see. We still got to cut some of this back and this is hitting back here but that gives us an idea where we're at I'm gonna mark this here All right, guys, we are down in the hole. So we're getting there, just kind of peeling it away. And we're gonna end up cutting this piece here, going across, I'm not sure how high on that area yet, but we do need to cut this out of the way. Um, that's gonna free up some space for us. And we need to remeasure, take this tape off and put a new piece of tape exactly where we wanna cut it. But we're getting there. Let's keep going. Oh, and don't drop your grinder while it's still turning on your freshly painted pans. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's make a mark here with this. It's not an exact fit, so we're gonna have to try to make it right. But that's basically it, where we need to cut in that area.
right. Yeah, you can see it's pretty rusty back there. It would have been cool to keep that patina, but it's pretty bad. So we've got that, uh, that rust spray paint that should match it. So we'll be able to kind of replicate some of this where we have to replace the metal. Shouldn't be too bad, especially down low here. It kind of really starts to turn into like an orangey, rusty color, which they have paint that looks like that. I left a little extra here just in case to give us a little playroom. All right, let's get this tape off, remeasure, refit, double check, and trim this up. Hopefully we'll get it in here right. Got it flat down here, kind of got it in place and just kind of move it around, see where it's kind of trying to find the sweet spot for it. And describe where I think it needs to go. I'm gonna to try to cut just below that, but there's not much there really. We just need a tiny little hair. And that kind of matches up with my measurement. If I measure from here to here, it's like seven and a quarter, and that's basically where it puts me right there. So we need to get that off. We need to get this real nice clean cut all the way around to where it starts to dip, and then we'll, we'll clean that up as well. So let's do it. Alright guys, I spent a little time just double checking everything, making some final adjustments. Got the jack under here, kind of simulate how we had it before to squeeze these together and I think that helped. I went along and kind of trimmed this up just a little bit more and it's pretty close. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Of course, we're not going to know until we put the door back on. So what I want to do is clean this, get the grease off of it get the bottom part ready to weld and put some weld through primer on it and tack it a couple places and then tack it so that it's strong enough so it doesn't move like here here a couple spots up here and then put the door on and see how the door fits let's do it all right we're gonna wash all the grease off of this first
Guys, we got the welder out. We got it all cleaned up, got the grease off of it. Put some weld through primer on there just to protect it in a couple areas. And it is fitting pretty good. Not bad, not bad. So, I'm gonna get this fit just right. We'll get the welder turned on, put a couple tacks here and there, and then we'll test fit the door. Hopefully, it works. Let's do it. All right, so far so good. Hopefully. <laughs> we won't know until we fit the door, but. It's feeling pretty good. Turned the heat down, it was a little too hot. It worked great for the first few hits, but then it, uh, then I started blowing through. I think we got enough on the top. Let's, uh, we'll just put a couple on the bottom here. That seems like the sweet spot right there. All right, check it out. It's tacked in there. Had a couple blowouts here, but we can fill those in. But it's in. We got one, two, three. We had another blowout right here. Uh, four. So it's it's in there. It's not moving. So I think we could try to fit the door and just see how close we are. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're in the ballpark. That would be awesome because I can't imagine undoing it and trying to fix it. But if we have to, we will.
let's fit the door. Let's see what happens. All right, I ordered some new screws from Wolfsburg West, but they're not here yet. So we're gonna pick out the best ones we can find, clean them up on the wire wheel, and uh, hook it up. All right, let's get that door on there. Oh man, I hope it fits. Come on, baby. All right. Ooh. Get a little free off of the Screws help them go in a little bit. Oh man, I hope this works. All right, I'm just gonna expect the worst. And hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Got one in down here. Let's see if we can get another one. There we go. Okay. They're fighting me a little bit. See, that's the room you got to move around, so so you can fine tune the door a little bit. Let's see how close we got. All right, 
they're all tight. That's pretty tight. Woo. Let's see. Oh no. That's not good. What's hitting? Oh. <laughs> that bracket was hitting. Ooh, that's pretty close. Wow. Check it out. That's pretty close. And I mean, you could fine tune these brackets. This was hitting right here. I gotta get that out of the way. Door stopper. Okay, so. I was saying before where these three, I guess if you just loosen them a little bit, you can kind of move the door hinges in and out just a little bit and up and down just a little bit. So we'll have to work on that a little bit, but look, it's pretty close. It's tight. There it goes. <laughs> hey, it's not perfect, but we're close. So I'll, uh, I'll mess around with these and kind of fine tune them. But man, just for a first try, we're dang close guys, real close. Look at that. Wow, that is so cool. Awesome. Very awesome. I'll have to do some research on the best way to adjust these. I think I'm on the right track as far as just, you got them snug, snug enough to where you can move the door a little bit, tighten them up and then find the sweet spot. But that's pretty dang close. I mean, look at the line. We're right on the line. It's closing. And it doesn't seem to be dropping down much. It is dropping a little bit. But again, that could be the hinges. Oh, wow. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. We're gonna make some uh, fine-tune adjustments on the brackets, and we might need it. we may even need to uh, rebuild the brackets, put new pins in them or whatever. Um, but we got new screws coming, so we're gonna definitely gonna put new new screws in there and, and adjust it a little better. But that's not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Let's put the uh, jack down, see if that affects it at all. Whoa. Yeah, that might have... Uh... Still closing, but it's it's definitely um, dropping a little bit. It's dropping a little bit. You know, this thing's not completely in yet, so that could be it. Could be the hinges. It could be that my fit is slightly off. It could be that the wheel well is not welded in yet. So I think what we need to do is. Um, Loosen up the screws and try to get it to fit because it's welded here, it's welded here, it's welded here, it's welded up front. Let's loosen the screws just a little bit and see if we can find the sweet spot there. Yeah, that definitely, definitely dropped a little bit. All right, let's try. Let's see if we can get this a little better. Loosen them up a little bit and then. Yeah, that definitely gives you some up and down movement. So the trick is how do you hold that and then screw it? Because you can't get to the screws from in here. Can you? I don't think so. It's 
moving around. Yeah, it's low. He's a low. Well guys, it's uh, kicking my butt. I think, I think we're close. I think it's a matter of getting the uh, screws adjusted just right. We're close. Something just isn't happy. Try putting the jack back under. Maybe it's the gear pan needs to go up a little bit. Because right there, I could see where it connects to the wheelhouse. It just moved up. I'll bet you it's gonna close now. Watch. Yep. So it's the heater channel. Heater channel's got to be. Uh, welded to the wheelhouse. Once it's welded to the wheelhouse, it's finding its spot. That's good news, actually. It's the wheelhouse and the heater channel. When I put the jack back under it, you could I could see where this and this came closer together in that gap. So we need to weld this on with the jack right here. Now the doors are. Uh, I'll have to find the. I still have to find the sweet spot on the hinges, but that's a lot better. You know the hinges now let's let's see if we can find a sweet spot now i mean there's really no way to know where this sweet spot is for these i'm not sure there's got to be some kind of technique but that's closing better yeah there's a little bit of uh also the bottom of the door bottom of the door, like the passenger side, is uh, coming apart. So it's creating a little bit of a gap there, a little bit of uh, space that's moving back and forth. But that's, that's good news. So that means once we get the bottom of the door welded, the wheel well, and we can have a little bit of playroom with those screws, it's going to work. <laughs> All right, cool. That was, I was getting a little nervous there for a second. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Woo. All right, guys. All right, I was getting a little nervous on that, but you could see right here. Get the light over here. You can see when the jack is lowered, there's a gap right there that'll open up a little bit more watch it see that here check it out see how it just closed that's where it wants to be right there so we need to get that wheel well welded in get the rest of this all cleaned up and welded in and uh, we're gonna be a lot closer guys we're getting there all these things count all these Areas where it's welded together help kind of put it in its place. So, whoo, that is good news. Good news. Yeah. Good news. Hey, that's awesome. I was very nervous about doing this repair. And uh, honestly, I probably could have taken a little more time with it. I was, felt like I was rushing myself, but um, 
I'm pretty happy with the results. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with the results. And we're gonna finish it off, get all this welded in, patched in. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the uh, passenger side as soon as we get a door that we can use. The passenger's door is just shot. It's terrible. I mean, we could probably start the process and tack it in, and then once we get a door, we can uh, fine tune it. But uh, I think that'll probably be fine, actually. Now that I've done this one, I think we can do that one without the door. And uh, once we get the door, then we can complete it. Um, but let's get the driver's side all cleaned up and done. We still got a lot of work to do. We're gonna do the, this rear area here. A nice panel from Classic Fab that's really, really close to factory. And it's gonna really clean this lower portion. We're just gonna use about this much of it. So we'll cut this about right here and uh, use that part of it to clean up this rust here because this is really bad there's i mean it's you can put your finger through it basically and you don't want that water will get in there and it'll get inside and it'll creep into the carpet and all that stuff so all this needs to be completely sealed and waterproof all along the bottom here and around the bottom the edges and everything so this is going to be next probably and also finishing up the uh a pillar and the front wheel well. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. This one, uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a, it was a lot of work. So, you know, there was a lot of time there where I had to sit and kind of look and evaluate everything and figure it out. But now that I've done it, this one should go twice as fast. And I'm building up some confidence that, uh, this is this project's gonna start moving along pretty quickly. So stay tuned. We got a lot going on. Make sure you go check out Aircool. My buddy Pete over there has got some amazing products. Really cool company. And Pete is an awesome guy. Go check him out. He's sponsoring this series. I appreciate it, Pete. And uh, Aircool, the team over at Aircool is awesome. Guys, we'll see you on the next one. Later. See you guys. Appreciate it. Guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.